Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what to do, what to expect, and how to prepare for the next series update that will be coming pretty soon. Now, Kralo did say on stream that we will be getting this. Well, prior to Christmas, he did say on the last stream, or one of those last streams, that Series 4 would be coming out sometime after uh, the New Year's, right? Now, the thing, though, with Series 4 specifically was that because of the holiday break, it changed. So we had a system. Typically, the way series drops, like every like month and a half, we would get a new series. We would go over that. But the thing with it is, is that because of the delay, well, holiday content, obviously, from like the 15th through the 28th, took that over. And then we got the New Year's break and the Christmas break. And then when they come back, obviously back to the office, everything's late again. So this is going to be one of the longest periods between series that we've ever had for the most part. So we kind of have to deal with that. But it should be coming pretty soon now. He did say on the stream after the New Year's on the first one back that Series 4, we will get somewhat around a one-week notice. So as of now, we're probably about a week away. I imagine on today's stream, or probably tomorrow's stream, we will get notice of the week. Because, of course, at this point, we're almost like two months out. So I know it's definitely coming soon. Because people expected this series to come early December. And then when it didn't, they pretty much knew it wasn't going to come until uh, January at that point. Because they kind of announced they wouldn't be doing it in between the Christmas promo. But before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the noti bell, go down below, like the video, and of course, if you haven't already, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off. Discounts are still up there, so take advantage while they are. Save up, we got series coming up, series update coming up, we have playoff promo, we have team of the year, and team of the weeks, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Anyways, when the new series drops, the most important thing you want to look at is going to be this over here. Um, it's going to be the packs. When the new series drop. You're going to see a drastic change in the market. One of the best things I can recommend, guys, is adjusting your team before the series update. So here, here's a good example. Elite bundle or elite pack. At 93 plus is 4.6%. When the new series drops, we may see these categories change to like 95 plus on this elite pack. And that might be 5%. And 93 will be the second one at 30%. Like, not maybe not to that extent, but you guys know what I'm saying. So 93 is currently... 93 plus are like the current, like the high range you can pull out of packs. But after the series, I think that could be the second high range on the pack with 95 plus being it. Which would mean that 93 pluses are very likely at that point. Or at least one third of every pack, which would mean that the market gets completely destroyed, right? Because right now, 93s aren't that expensive. And that's with them being rare to pull. Now imagine if 93s are common to pull and everything above it was more rare, right? Or less rare. So that's going to be the pack change, of course. Same thing with get a gold player pack. And same thing with everything else. So this will go down to like maybe 90 plus will be 4.3. So the, and those get better. Gridiron packs will go to about 91 plus will probably be 93 plus. So all the all the things will change. Or, the, or even if the categories stay the same, what would happen is the percentages will get better. So the weekly elite fantasy pack may be 10% on a 93 plus, and then you know everything else. Or they'll just change the categories, like I said. So that's going to change drastically. Now when that all changes, the thing with that is, is that the market usually suffers. And another reason too. So. We're going to get series Redux cards now. Like I said, Kralo did announce that we will be getting a week notice on the Redux cards. The Redux cards, if you don't know what those are, pretty much we get limited time cards in Madden, you know, weekly just about. And then they cost a lot of money. They're limited time, you know, limited edition. Can't just get them whenever. And they're usually kind of expensive. But what happens is after every series update, all the LTDs that were pulled during that series become, well, mostly all of them, besides the ones that come out really late, become series Redux cards, which means that they are now, like, back and packing regularly. And pretty much, it's not the same, you know what I mean? Um, series Redux essentially are just like regular cards, no longer limited time edition, you know, they're not limited edition at all, which does hinder the price a lot, which is actually great. So let's say like, you really wanted a specific card in this promo. Like there was a guy like, you know, let's say Michael Vick at the time, right? He, he used to go for like 300k. You wait for a Series Redux, now he's 100k. You can get him for a lot cheaper. This is, it sucks that you have to wait, but it really helps the users that start playing Madden later or grinding a no money spent team that they can't afford cards when they come out. So they actually get the luxury of getting these series reduced cards at reduced prices. But the thing is with this new one update, remember we're so delayed right now on series. So we're gonna get like two plus months worth of LTDs. So that's gonna be a massive redux list. Like I said, Corella will be releasing or at least announce when they do drop like the Mudhead slash database uh, LTD redux list. It's gonna be a huge list. For the most part, like there's going to be a really large list. First off, all those legends, right? There's all those uh, 
all those LTD legends are going to get one. All the legends from, you know, weekly drops. Not to mention the Thursday ones that we were getting. Not to mention some of the, you know, promo cards we got. Some of the Christmas stuff. There's going to be a ton, a ton of three decks that we will be getting. So combine all those reduxes with the fact that we're going to be getting increased pack odds. And we're going to see a massive market crash. Like, this month's probably one of the largest market crashes we've ever seen in Madden. Because we do have the playoffs, team of the year, and the reduxes. And we have the... Uh, the, the conversion to uh, better pack odds. Like I said, if you guys know anything, the, whenever we switch to a new series, that's probably the best day ever to open packs because, like, the market doesn't adjust right away. So, like, pulling Barry Sanders could cost you, let's say, X amount of packs. And now, so pretty much it's, you know, let's say you occasionally make profit on packs or rarely. But on Redux Change Day, if you're one of the first people to open packs, you're pulling maybe a Barry Sanders pretty easily. You're maybe pulling some other stuff easily and you're selling it for 280 270 before the market catches up with how easy it is to pull these guys you make a lot if you guys remember i did a i did a legend fantasy pack opening the bundle on the day i think we went to series two and i made three million coins out of those packs for only 100 bucks yes it still cost 100 bucks but i pulled because it was so easy to pull 88 pluses now because of the new update i pulled i think it was five michael vick um top set pieces and each one sold for like 400k at the time or 500k so i literally sold five of them for 400k that right there was what is that two million coins that was two million coins and then i also pulled a Deion sanders set piece and then i also pulled one other person's set piece i pulled no full legends that day and i still made three million coins i put all their set pieces because 88 pluses were so easy and the legend set pieces that just come out in packs were there and i put i kept pulling the michael vick 89 or 88 whatever it was so that's going to be like the reality of it for the day of i'm not i'm not recommending you open packs right if you're a pack buyer that would be the day to open it but if you're not a pack buyer you could just do what i do I come over to the block, and what you do is you are here. So let's say you want Barry Sanders. You come to the 50. You filter by Barry, and you go newest. Or you go to Barry Sanders, and you do buy now price. You either do newest or buy now price, whatever is less saturated. And then uh, you go over, and you filter out by Barry, and you keep going like that, and just keep refreshing. Now, here's the different thing. you got to be careful. Prices will look really good on that day, but that may not be the official prices. So... Right when it starts, right? Right when the new packs come out, Barry Sanders may be, you know, he might come down to 290 and you're like, I got to buy it. I got to buy it. Like, that's a snipe. But if you let, if you let this go on for like another hour when people start getting home, Barry Sanders may end up bottom, bottoming out at 220. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to get a snipe, don't get like a 10% snipe. Don't get a 20. You want like a 50%. Like, you want to find people are throwing these up so fast that you may get a Barry for 180, 190, 200. Like, that's a good price because it won't get much lower. But don't buy one for like 310 or 290 or 260 because you're going to end up getting it. And then he's going to end up coming down to that price anyways. And that reduction you lost, you want to get one below that. So make sure you are checking for that as well. Because prices will bottom out eventually. Because it only gets worse. Like, it's not like a promo where cards come out real quick, LTDs, and they go back. Like, the market's going to be saturated completely. And there's really no going back from there. But moving on from that, moving on down. So as far as how to repair, remember, like, if you have series trophies, you can go ahead and spend them. And series trophies have been pretty much useless this year. Ever since I got rid of Masters. I hope they do bring that back next year, but... You know, go ahead, get, maybe get a John Madden collectible, maybe get a Series 3 Captain token, maybe go for Wheel of Coin and just spend them all. No point in letting them go away, right? I mean, at this point, you can go ahead and maybe do an 88 plus Elite Player pack. Um, again, I probably would recommend probably just get your Coach Madden collectibles and then maybe do your Wheel of Coin packs. Nothing else here seems too uh, intriguing. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So as far as what to expect, expect a little higher pack odds, expect uh, Series Redux cards. Expect maybe a new string of solos. Maybe we get lucky with some kind of gauntlet or some journey or something like that. So expect a new string of solos. And then as well, make sure that you are going ahead and taking advantage of the pack stuff. Like I said, you don't have to open them. You don't have to spend 50k. You don't have to waste money on them. You can just go ahead and take advantage of the reduced prices. But one last thing you want to be is adjusting your team like I've been telling you guys. Let's say you go through your team right now. And you have Bo Jackson, right? Bo Jackson for, let's just say, 900k. If you sell them before the series update, that series update will come out, and all the cards that make a set, or whatever, all those types of cards, like that, that's the thing. So, well, let, let me backtrack, though. Let me go back to the Ghost of Madden stuff. So, as you know, Bo Jackson doesn't have a set, so let me, let me rephrase that. These cards have a set, so these cards will get much cheaper. So, guys, like, let's say you wanted Mahomes, and Mahomes is too much right now for you. All these guys in the set will come down in price because of the, of the new series update, which will make him come down as well. Now, Bo is a bit of a different circumstance. Now, I think he will be replaced, not not just yet, but he will eventually get replaced. 
But the thing with Bo, it depends if they include him, right? So Bo, Bo is a Christmas present. I don't know how they're going to end up handling him with Bo be, being like a Christmas present and everything. So if Bo Jackson ends up being in packs, I'm sure if they make Bo Jackson like a series redux, I mean, that'd be cool if they did. I'm not sure how they plan to handle him, but he is expensive right now. Bo Jackson's the kind of guy where I don't know if his price may be worth it, not almost a million coins. I mean, you can maybe just sell him and go with Barry Sanders and get like plus one less speed and get all that coins back. Then you got to power him up. So I understand why you're sticking with him for the time being. So, I mean, it just depends. I mean, there's better options than him. So let's say, like I said, you guys have, you guys have like guys like Patrick Mahomes or Michael Vick or Deion Sanders or even a, le a, like a, le a legend LTD. Legend LTDs as well. You can go ahead and just sell them. Let me give you guys a good example before we hit out in this video. So let's go over to Legends. Right here. So let's say you have... Where's it? Okay, right here. Like Troy Vincent. You have Troy Vincent. 500k. You have an Eagles team team. You can go ahead and sell them around for 550. Get 500 back in reduction. Once we get series reductions, his reduction will probably be like 400 to 300k. You'll easily save 100k. Now let's say you have like him. You have uh, Jericho Finley. And you have Michael Strahan. They'll all come down. And these, Jericho Finley might be the only one that might not be included in the list, but Michael Strahan and everyone else should. So like I'm saying, you could just sell them now, Rich can and sell them now. You can make a ton of coins, 700k, and still be able to go ahead and get your Redux card for much cheaper. I guess that might not be for another week or so, so if you're competing in Weekend League, maybe you wait a little bit longer. But prices haven't dropped yet, so you still have the luxury. But once people start doing the same thing, things will come down. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment down below, and turn on the noti bell. If you need coins for the crash... Heading over to my reserve, you know, you could turn a million coins on my reserve on the day of the crash, two million coins into like three or four, you know, worth of value before. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.